mentorship is gaining the confidence of the person whom you are going to mentor. HB has really opened up avenues for me to flourish as a scholar. The HB year was the turning point of my research as a scholar. I seek ways for engagement with other humanists. Break boundaries and forge ahead in humanity scholarship. study of African music and Tanzanian music particularly has been undertaken uh, especially with methods from ethnomusicology. Ethnomusicology which is part of musicology but it deals with uh, the study of music in culture so the relationship between music and culture. So a number of scholars of Tanzanian music have been focusing uh, on those aspects you describing how music uh, is shaped by culture and how culture shapes uh, Tanzanian music. So you have research that has been done since the 1960s with church musician, for example, Pombunga, Tanzanian scholar, but did a research on the relationship between the church doctrines and Tanzanian music. And then came a number of uh, foreign scholars who were studying uh, Tanzanian music. They all uh, studied Tanzanian music with the lenses from ethnomusicology. This has continued even for newer scholars, Tanzanian scholars who are doing their masters, PhDs. So we have used mainly methods from ethnomusicology. I begin with secondary uh, education. At Kidugala Lutheran Seminary, I learned to play a number of musical instruments. He plays any instrument that he wants to play, a bit a guitar or a trumpet or keyboard or a, a piano, or, you know, name it. He can also drum, he can play um, xylophone, anything, which is, to me, uh, that, that is more of a talent, actually. I also served as a, a conductor of the seminary choir. From there, I came at the University of Dar es Salaam to do my BA in Fine and Performing Arts, but I majored in Music. And then I did my Master's in Development Studies, but with my passion of music, I did a research uh, on Tanzanian choirs. That took me to do my PhD in Music at the University of KwaZulu-Natal and I began writing about various kinds of music um, and publishing from that various research that I did. He loves music. It is not that he's forced in that uh, uh, professionalism. Uh, when he sings or he conducts a choir, you can, you can see that you know, it comes from, from his you know, fingertips, from his bone marrow. the ethnomusicology discipline in general, I would say the main challenge would be uh, lack of access to research funding. Uh, many scholars would like to do research, but the opportunities to have research funding in the field of ethnomusicology or musicology in general are limited. It's very fortunate that people don't see music as contributing much into academia. When people uh, give uh, research, you know, funds, they don't consider art or be it drawing or uh, music composition as contrib contributing significantly to, to humanities. But you cannot live, we cannot live without music. I was interested in music since I was very young. I began singing in <laughs> children's choirs. When I came at the university, I really planned it to do music. So the passion was there from the very beginning. The support that has enabled me to attain these degrees in music would be the people that 
I have been meeting in various institutions. After completing PhD, uh, the main support have been uh, re various research funds that I have received. Uh, and here I can mention uh, African Humanities Program, for example. I received AHP Fellowship in 2009. That enabled me to uh, do a number uh, of research and write a number of papers, publish. Uh, but uh, AHP has also supported a number of other scholars in the department uh, and at the university from other departments. Uh, and I think this has increased interest uh, in research on various aspects uh, in the humanities where previously one would only concentrate on the research that one has done for, for example, PhD, with the little funding that we have for PhDs, but now we could explore other areas of research. The fellowship has increased the network and the exchange of ideas with other scholars. And then there is this reputation, reputation not only of the university, but of myself as a scholar, uh, with many people knowing my work. He's doing music that is connected to, to faith, connected to, to religion, connected to beliefs. He has written on, on gender issues within the church uh, music. People do not see from that angle. They don't see gender in that way. I, I would say, uh, his entry point, his perspective is unique. He's unique because he's creating something that other people do not see that way. His perspective is just different, uh, the way I, 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 I see him. He's, he's, he has a very uh, clear perspective that is seeing church music as any other composition of music. If I describe the relationship between music and society, then I would focus on various aspects of, of, of society uh, in which music takes uh, place. Uh, say, for example, uh, you have religious practices which are normally accompanied with music, are shaped by music, and uh, in turn, religious doctrines and, and, and beliefs also shape uh, music production. Politics shapes uh, the way musicians sing, uh, perform music, uh, compose their lyrics, but also music participates in shaping various uh, uh, political uh, aspects. My research has been trying to, to sh explore these connections. Uh, beginning with my PhD research, which was exploring the changes in, in, in religious music in Tanzania. The research showed how uh, the changes in music was really connected with the changes of the society in general. Uh, but I've gone further to describe uh, the, the various things I've been, I have just mentioned uh, that have affected the way music is produced has affected music lyrics, has affected music performances. I really see my research to be exploring these relationships. He's co co contributing significantly to the, the image of the University of Dasa. There's something unique coming out of, of this person. My work has contributed in various debates on mu music and society, uh, but the contribution on these discussions is mainly among scholars of music, among scholars of, of culture of Tanzania. One of the changes in music studies in Tanzania is the general trend towards popular music. Uh, and this has been influenced by the growing uh, industry, popular music industry. 
which is also reflected in other um, areas of the arts. And so it's not only music. A number of researchers are now be beginning to focus on a number of, of topics uh, if we compare with the earlier scholarship. Uh, topics of relating music with gender identities, with class, uh, uh, with religion. I think the field is growing. It's growing with the number of, of, of postgraduate students that we have been training here at the university. It is growing in terms of a number of publications that are coming uh, out from uh, the, the scholars in the department and, and our partners. Uh, it is growing in terms of the, the expansion of the department uh, offerings and the uh, various causes that the department has established. Uh, so I see a brighter future. In most cases, uh, when I perform with the choir, with the band, my audiences exceed the, the uh, scholarly audience and therefore the impact of musical performance goes beyond the scholarly cycles. <laughs>